Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs. Right, first off I need to say sorry for a the squeaky chair. I'm going to try and st sit still. There we go, sit still. And B, sorry for the lack of uploads because currently I'm on like going on holiday. Well I've been on holiday and then I'm going on holiday then summer holidays then I'm doing stuff and whatever. So yeah, it all... I'm doing a lot of stuff at the moment included in this like coming up soon like a week or whatever we're filming more of the fan series already we filmed an absolute ton of the fan series well no i'd say we filmed a quarter which is a lot and has used up all my storage space on pretty much everything so yeah i'm gonna stop rambling about the fan series but that's why there's little uploads but today i'm here to review this the character options doctor who New 13th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. I bought this Sonic for $16.99 from Forbidden Planet. So, at the top of the box you have the logo, and oddly, it covers the emitter, but still, that's a minor complaint, and I like the colour scheme and everything on the box. So, new Doctor Who logo, and down here, some more, like, features displayed on the box telling you what the Sonic inside does. The really nice, cool image of the new TARDIS. On the back, a bunch of legal rubbish how to put the batteries in, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, yeah, I think that's quite a nice box, and I hope, like, that the other boxes for action figures or whatever are in the same colour scheme. Now, opening the toy itself, all I did was cut along the top and a nice poppable lid. So if you wanted to, you could display the Sonic in the box, taking off the lid and then putting it back in, if that made any sense. Anyway, you have to pop it out of this little plasticky thing, and then, hang on, and then you have your Sonic. So, here it is, and I think it looks quite nice. Doing a size comparison to the others, it's sort of in the middle, really. The Tenant one is smaller, and the other two are much, much bigger. This Sonic has three sound effects. Pushing the button once, twice, and three times. Right, so, there's your basic outline of the functions and what the Sonic does. Now, on to my opinion. I think the design itself, not the toy, just the overall Sonic, I'm not too sure on. I don't know, it could look good, it looks very homemade and like, as if Jodie Whittaker's made it herself, which, yeah. Also, one problem I've realised it is a good feature that when you like shake it or whatever the lights come on but the battery's gonna run down really quickly like if this is in my bag or something the battery's gonna be dead quite quickly but oh well and yeah one thing that does annoy me as well this button here is completely pointless and I mean because of the different sound effects they could have put the diagnostic sound effect on that button I don't know it doesn't make sense to me but Oh well, one feature this is missing as well, which the American version of the Sonic has, is the tip rotating, which you can probably see on screen now. And yeah, it's a real shame that character didn't include that, because this is the most expensive Sonic I've ever bought, and I would have thought that they'd have been managed to include that, but oh well, I think it's still a good toy. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the new 13th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver toy. I hope you have enjoyed, remember to like, comment, subscribe, comment down below what you think of the Sonic's design, what you think of the toy, if you'll be picking it up or not, if you have already picked it up, and what you think of it. Thank you for watching, remember to like, comment, subscribe, blah 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 blah, I probably just said that. Anyway, goodbye.